News at 5 starts now. You may see a lot of military members at the fair today. Good evening, I'm Lauren Culber. Thanks for watching KX News. In tonight's top story, it is Military Appreciation Day at the North Dakota State Fair. So all day, the fair offered men and women who serve the country special deals. PJ Walker is live to tell us a little bit more about it. Hi, PJ. Hi, Lauren. Fair officials wouldn't be surprised if over a thousand members of the military showed up today to the fair. Now, they enjoyed a free meal earlier, and I talked to one person who says it feels good to have a day where him and his family can come out and enjoy. It, it really shows that people actually care. You know, you walk down the streets and people say thank you for your service, and that's, that's great, and it's good, and it really, you know, makes you feel pride with your country but when people actually put their money where their mouth is and 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 really show that they care now lauren the free lunch was not the only thing that military members could enjoy today there are coupons for discounts at the gate and there, there are reduced tickets for the bull riding event tonight back to you hey they deserve it pj walker reporting live thank you there's a new attraction at the fair today, and it ties into the fact that today is Military Appreciation Day. It's a display called Remembering Our Fallen. Noala Fritz started this collection of photos and information about more than 5,000 men and women who have died in the global war on terror. Her son was a prisoner of war who was executed near the Iraq-Iran border in 2007. His loss and his service to the nation, doing what he loved, moved her to start this traveling museum that local volunteers helped erect this morning. Fritz says among the 5,200 photos are those of 167 women who died in combat. It is all ranks and it's all ages. It's all races. It's, it, it's, it truly shows you a, a good, what our military is. Remembering our fallen will be in front of the State Fair Center through the end of the fair. Authorities say alcohol is involved in a fatal crash near Wanford City. The